Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to attempt to start this baby. How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Well, first of all, today we need to change a fuel pump uh, on the car. Um, that's not a simple task. It's located under the front of the engine on the left side. Uh, so the car needs to come up on um, stands. I need to get underneath it. Uh, hence why I've been waiting for a relatively dry day. It's a nice November clear sky day today. So ideal for doing something like this. Um, so we're going to try that and um, we will see, fingers crossed, if that gets this car any further forward into actually starting and running. Before we do that though, the car's completely flat so let's hook it up with some uh, juice, see if we can get some power to it and then also have a little checklist of what actually works on this car and what doesn't. Let's hook that up. Okay, so we've got a fast charger hooked up to the battery. We'll leave that for a few minutes. Hopefully that will give it enough juice so we can fire up some of the systems, check some of the lighting, check what works, what doesn't on the car. And then after that, I shall jack it up. The fuel pump is located right down at the back, down there on this car. So um, we will uh, see how we get on with that. So we have the uh, roof panel removed from 308 so we can have a bit of a better look at the inside of the car as per the last video it's not actually too bad in here seats are in really good condition I've got the door card in the garage all of this is just a bit messy where the trims come off a few little bits here to do but overall pretty good so let's have a look we don't have enough juice yet, but let's see if we can test a few of the systems. Okay, so our pop-up lights work, that's good. What else? Indicators? Nope. Wipers? Nothing. Uh, I've got something clicking underneath the dash down here somewhere. I'm not sure what that is. Seems okay though, nothing else there. All right, so let's leave this, get a bit more juice in it. Let's see where we're at. Okay, let's see what else works. Ignition's on still. No horn. This feels like it's got no spring tension to it. Uh, AC, nothing on the AC. Fan, no fan. We do have something with the hazards. No wiper, no aerial. These seem to move. This one's jammed. This one has a bit of movement. Okay, so some jobs there to do. So, like I say, 38,774 miles on an 83 QV, so that's a 35 year old car. Believe it or not, that's probably above average miles on this car, so that's over just over a thousand miles a year. But that's probably considered quite high on a, uh, on a 308. Let's just check these windows, see if they work at all. Any chance of that? Any movement at all? Not bad, I've got movement there. We have a look at this cable slightly. You can hear it's actually doing something. So the motor for the for the window system is all in there. Uh, this is the same as the testarossa that I did, so I know that these are an absolute pain. But the nice thing is we have movement on that one. This one, so we'll listen. That's cool, we have movement on that side as well. So uh, that's quite positive. All right, let's crack on with the back of the car. Now that the black car is out in the sunlight a bit more, you can just see, looking closely, 
they work. It's got a bit of bubbling to it, you know, it's just on the surface, that's not rust. That's just bad paint by the look of it. We've got some uh, build up of kind of like salty stuff here on the uh, on the rear lights. Let's see a bit better on this one. So a lot of work to do. Use for these American bumpers. You can rest your tools on there. So I've quickly jacked the uh, 308 up. It's on an axle stand. I'm going to put a few more underneath there before we go into any work. But while it's in the air, let's have a quick look at the differences um, on the rear of the car between the US and the Eurospec 308s. So the main, the main difference between the two cars is in this area at the back. Um, you have a massive solid rubber bumper for the US cars that sticks out a mile. Okay, that's definitely gonna get changed on this car. Um, the second bit, which is really difficult to make the modification on, is this lower section here with the balance. So this is unique to the US, this metal grill. On the Euro cars, this balance here that starts on the sides continues all the way along the back. Okay, the problem is though, the difficult part of making the modification is that the exhaust system on the US car is completely different to the U Euro car. So I've just added in a couple of pictures here um, just to show you uh, the old 308 that uh, I converted a couple of years ago. This was an 85 car. Again, it was a US spec car. Uh, it came from Beverly Hills and it. I went about and did this conversion on the car. Exactly what I wanted to do on the black one. So in the first pictures here, you can see very clearly that lower rear balance. Um, in primer, so you can highlight this nice and simply in the pictures, uh, you can see that it's a very clean line along the back of that uh, car. Um, personally, again, it's personal preference, I think that clean line looks much nicer on the 308. Again, in this picture, you can also see that rear bumper and how it is quite snug on the car doesn't stick out a mile like the US rubber bumpers. It also weighs a hell of a lot less. Uh, it's not actually correct in this picture. This was just something I was offering up just to see how it was. So you can also see in these pictures the uh, side markers. We removed the side markers at the back of the car. Uh, the front ones we changed to Eurospec indicators. And then you start to see where we've painted the car up, uh, the exhaust system being fitted, the sports uh, rear muffler. Uh, again, we had to do a big conversion to get that to fit and work on the Euro car. And then finally, uh, just to quickly show you what I wanna do with the front on this car. So we've got a deep dish front spoiler. Uh, that will be going on the black car. Then we've got a different front grille also going on the car. I need to acquire one of those. And finally, we have the Eurospec front bumper. Again, weight saving, and also it looks a lot cleaner. It doesn't stick out like the US one. And that is the plan for this black car. Before we're gonna do anything on that fuel system, I have removed the battery terminals. Uh, I've left the battery actually on charge here. We've got some juice to try it afterwards, hopefully. Okay, so I'm under the car now. As you can see, this is the front of the engine looking up. Here's our fuel pump. And it's on a nice bracket. So there's a little bit of room here to maneuver, not a lot. Anyway, let's try and get it off and see if we can uh, get a step forward to starting this car. So I'm under the 308, I've got one more uh, little connector to undo and then hopefully the fuel pump should come out.
So here we have both the uh, pumps out of the car. The old one feels very heavy. The new one. Just need to switch those over now. Seems all right, but we can have a look at that. Okay, so the new fuel pump is fitted to the car. Here's our old one. Uh, like I say, bit heavy, so hopefully it was just a case that this is clogged up with old fuel. Um, so let's go ahead and see how we get on with trying to start it. Okay, so we're no go with that one, it's not firing up. Um, what we're gonna try and do next is, I'm not exactly sure if there's fuel in this car. I did put uh, a jerry can's worth of fuel in uh, a few weeks ago when I was first trying to get this car started. Uh, however, it's been a little while. I'm not 100% sure if there isn't a fuel leak on this car. So I'm gonna inspect further on one of the tanks, which I suspect has got a slight drip. And then the other thing obviously is you can hear the battery is quite low on it. So I think I'm going to go and get another jerry can of fuel and uh, see if that makes any difference. Um, on top of that, I've ordered up a fuel filter because uh, I stupidly forgot to do that. And that will also need to be changed on the car. So we'll do that as well. Uh, so I'll get some fuel and we'll see. how.